I'd lost absolutely everything. I was quite well off. I had lost all my money, I lost my cars. I was in um, trouble with the law, um, absolute full-blown criminal. Um, I had an ice habit that was absolutely out of control. You kind of think about it, I couldn't believe that something that started off so small could end up so out of control. When I was in grade three, they said to me, what do you want to be when you're older? And I said, I want to represent Australia at the Olympic Games. So that was, you know, given how good I was in 2008, which was the Beijing Olympics, you know, I was pretty much destined to make the team. But I actually ended up missing the team that year. And that was a pretty big disappointment for me. So for me, that's what you would call a defining moment. That changed my life, you know, any probably normal human being would have been like, oh, I'm going to turn my life around now. But for me, you know, all the embarrassment, the humiliation and disappointment, um, you know, with the media and all that kind of stuff, I had to face and I had to face my family. I didn't know how to deal with that. So I guess I, I decided I'd quit swimming and start doing drugs. And that's when my life started spiraling out of control. I was actually on the street in Brisbane and um, I came to a point where my life was literally out of control. I didn't want to be alive anymore because I had no self-worth, no respect, no self-value. I came to the end of the road, I'd been to rehab six, seven times and no matter what I tried, I couldn't get help. Like I ended up going to a Christian rehabilitation centre and that's where, you know, my, my faith has actually played a pretty big role in my recovery. when I still go through the same trials and tribulations because I still go through all the same problems as I did when I was a young kid. I now have something bigger than myself as a, you know, as hope and anchor. You know, I'm now um, four and a half years clean and, um, you know, there's seriously no turning back for me. So I'm training for common games which will be exciting, you know, they're saying that it's probably will be as big as Olympics, you know, for us because it, you know, it is a home games. it's just down the road for me. I've grown up on the Gold Coast my whole life. So yeah, I'm training, you know, the best I can at the moment to be in a good position to make the team.